So we're in the concrete jungle, Southern California in LA, and I thought I'd just kind of share the five urban myths about who we are and what we do. And the first one that stops a lot of people is Juice Plus is a vitamin pill. It's not. Second thing is, uh, you know, what is this business? Most people think it's a network marketing business. It's not. Third thing usually is, you know, I'm not a salesperson. Um, and that holds most people back. 95% of America don't think they are. It's not that you don't have to be a salesperson to do this business. The fourth thing is, is I'm too busy. You know, busy people get things done and there's a lot of reasons so you can make excuses, but the busy people do the best in our business. That's the fourth myth. And the final, final fifth myth is either I'm too cool or I'm not good enough. All those myths we're gonna unpack a little later. See ya. All right, myth number one, Juice Plus is a vitamin. It is not. Juice Plus has pioneered a whole new way to bridge the gap between what we know we should be doing and what we're doing, plant powders. And within plant powders specifically, produce concentrates. They harvest produce, they juice produce, they dry produce. What's left is matter that matters. And produce powders have vitamins, and minerals, and antioxidants and enzymes, but it's food. It's a food-based approach and it's completely different to a multivitamin. So urban myth number two is Juice Plus is a network marketing company. Juice Plus is a network franchise. As produce concentrates are different than a vitamin pill, a network franchise is different than a network marketing company. And within the category of network franchise, Juice Plus has pioneered what's called a virtual franchise. That's our brand name. What makes a network franchise different? Healthcare benefits. I've had healthcare benefits for over a decade. Number two, no front end loads, no high buy-in fees. It's $50 to get in the business. And the final thing, it's not a buyer's club. 85% of our $650 million revenue every year come from customers only from all over the world. I had illusions of knowledge of what this was. I did not know what I didn't know. I had kind of intellectual ignorance or an ego, which is kind of an acronym for excludes great opportunity. It's a network franchise. I encourage you to lean in and learn more. All right, urban myth number three is I'm not a salesperson. Good thing is I'm not a salesperson either. The myth is that this business, to be successful, you have to be a salesperson. As it turns out, 95% of America don't consider themselves salespeople. Here's the thing. We live in a world where information is abundant. This is more about being who you are, being authentic, marketing and getting the message out. In the end, there's a little bit of sales, but sales will not make you successful. And so the myth is that sales is about taking advantage of people. What if, what if all sales is, is problem solving? What if all sales is, is helping people move from point A to point B, point B being higher ground? In the end, what we do is we find alignment, find if there's a need, we have goods and services or tools in the toolkit, and we help people match their need, their problem, their issue with the tools that we have. So in the end, I like to consider myself a professional problem solver. Myth number four, we live in a world of abundance and the usual excuse is I don't have any time. And I understand that, we're all busy, we all have abundant lives, but here's the deal, here's what I've learned about time. Successful people are usually really busy. Successful people know how to get things done. When you find something that is of value, when you find something that you believe in, uh, you reorganize time. And I guess the invitation is to find out what you don't know you don't know and get to a big, big yes, knowing what you know, or a big no. You know, you may end up going through some exercises where you get some education and realize this is not for me, but time is a function of your belief. And if it seems like there's not enough time to do this, then lean into building your belief in produce concentrates, building your belief in a network franchise, building your belief in helping be a problem solver in the world and time will open itself up for you. Myth number five centers around sort of a head and tail conversation in, in, the, in between your brain here is I'm too cool or I'm too good or this is below me or I can't do this, I'm not good enough, who am I, who, who, how could I ever achieve that level of success and both of those conversations whether it's I'm too cool and too good or I'm not good enough center on one character trait and in the end it's sort of vulnerability. Uh, in the end, maybe a little shame in there, but we all have that. And when you unpackage that, we find out that we're all stumbling, bumbling, fumbling, you know, grumbling, people trying to get on and get up and help make the world a better place. And so in the end, the I'm too cool syndrome, the I'm not good enough syndrome is generally based on fear, generally based on illusions of knowledge. And when you come into this community, what you're gonna find is real people, real products, real business and real world, making a real difference one person at a time. And in the end, all we try to do is every day we get up, we do better that day. So I invite you, I invite you to come explore the five urban myths with us and we'll see you at the next conference.